3-2 is a call. Third strike. Astros get that call at the knees. It was close enough with two strikes. And Phil Nevin is now in the face of the home plate umpire, Stu Sherwater. Of course, it's not a strike. Phil Nevin and Stu Sherwater nose to nose as Nevin has his say. Watch Paven Smith as Marvin Hudson rings him up to end the inning. Paven looks back over his shoulder, but you can see Hudson looking into the dugout. And Paven is back out there in right field. It's Jeff Bannister, the bench coach, who's been running. Here you can see why. You know, unfortunately, uh, I think they were good pitches. Uh, maybe borderline pitches, but the, it appeared to catch the edge of that strike zone, both on Herrera and on Paven Smith. But as I say many times, uh, everybody watches the game with biased eyes from those dugouts. You know? A little bit of a frustrating evening on a Friday night. A couple questionable pitches didn't go his way. Letting DJ Rayburn know. He didn't think some of those pitches were down. And he, well, you're still hearing some chirping from the. He's gone five. Yeah. Yes. Here we go. Here comes Corbin. He's going to get his money's worth. Or not. He had been barking the entire commercial break at DJ Rayburn from the Milwaukee dugout. Threw 100 pitches, 59 of those for strikes. Junior with two outs. Springer the runner at second. Takes a strike, a questionable strike right there. Oh boy, I'll tell you what. He needs a timeout. He needs a timeout from that call. And John Schneider, he has been unhappy with the home plate umpire, Charlie Ramos, all game. Oh, and rubber ball. Oh, rabbit ears. And Ramos gonna hear it now from Schneider. Oh, get your money's worth. Uh, they've been on him all game long. Hard. You heard our mics picking up. Ramos saying, don't make me tell you again he's before telling, tossing him. He's telling him what a horse bleep umpire he's been today. And 3 2 runner goes. And that is in there. Strike three, throw down the tag. He's out. And it's a strike him out, throw him out, double play. Devers rung up at home plate by Guccione. The borderline fastball down, called strike. And Tampa Bay out of the inning. So Rafi Devers stays in the ball game. That's not to be said of the manager, Alex Corey. He has been thrown out. He had a long, long argument with the home plate umpire, Chris Guccione, when we went to the commercial break after the strike him out, throw him out, double play. And AC has been run. That's been a strike. You know, when a left-hander throws it in that location, it's been a call, it's called a strike pretty much every time. Oh <laughs> wow! Oh, man. You've been calling it a strike all night. I mean, David Ross is letting him have it right now. That's closer to a strike than the two strikeout. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. And gracious. David Ross has just gotten ejected. Keep your mask on and try to get better at what your job is. David Ross tossed down and now he's going to get his say. And David saying you're missing pitches by well that off much. the plate. Yep. yep. Darren Bush now in charge of the athletics and. Ryan noted didn't happen it and uh, he got some support from the manager and Visconti didn't want to hear any more of it going back to the first inning and there's the heave ho. Oh well, this is Mark Kotze just making sure he's gonna he's gonna get his money's worth. I mean he's been trying to have a conversation with Visconti the entire ball game whether Visconti wanted to or not. I'm up. You see the adjustments Met hitters make. What's going on? And oh, and somebody's been thrown. thrown out of the Mets dugout. Oh wow, rabbits! Who got thrown out? I don't think it was Buck. 
Well, we'll find out in a moment. Wow. Is it, I wonder if it's Beatty. Home plate umpire DJ Rayburn took a couple of steps toward the dugout and then threw up the arm. Well, why would they be woofing at him in the first place? I know. Yancy Almonte up at the Dodger pen. Split change strike to Stevenson. Arguing balls and strikes there. David Bell is coming out and seemingly beckoning the crew chief Ron Culpa to join the conversation. Culpa took a few strides but remains on the outfield side of the mound. He was thrown out of the game, John. But he seems to want Culpa to be part of this conversation. This is as animated as we have seen David Bell. And the ejections have piled up a bit in recent weeks ago. That's his fourth of this year, the 24th of his career. But I'm not sure, as fiery as the others were, if we saw this level of displayed emotion. Strike three. Yep. Really nice pitch at the knees. Now Brandon Hyde is yeah. is reading the riot act to Hunter Wendelstaff. He, he must I mean he must have been tossed. I mean coming out and yeah. arguing balls and strikes like that that's a that's an automatic uh, spend the rest of the night in the clubhouse and uh, it looks like that's where Brandon Hyde is going. Bill Miller just said to Aaron Nola who hey, can't keep doing that. See, this is the first time we've seen this. Now Rob Thompson's coming out. Yeah, he's saying something to the home plate umpire and to Bill Miller. So this is the first time we've seen anybody contest a pitcher throwing baseballs out. It's ridiculous. Bill Miller's tell oh, Rob Thompson's been thrown out of this game. Love it. Look at this. Love it. And he takes strike three call. That was off the plate. That's off the plate. Now Phil Nevin's been ejected in this game and rightfully so as he is in the face of Phil Cuzzy whose poor call to end the bottom of the fifth inning not only ended a rally it cost the Angels a chance to have Mike Trout up with the bases loaded and Phil Nevin is irate. And this crowd here at Angel Stadium appreciating Phil Nevin going out there and standing up for his team. Been a little banged up. Now Isak Paredes stands in. I would present to you Dallas that. See the end of this play. Well, really, you can see he's thinking, yeah, I'm going to third. What? He caught it. Reverse. Hit second, but you can see him start to swing a little. And right there, the foot of Ryan Noda. You can see Rayleigh coming in hard, catching the left foot, the top of the left foot of Ryan Noda. He spiked him. He's moving that right leg around as well. So he very well may have caught him on the spike. Isaac Pareda is not happy, and Kevin Cash came out to defend him. Well, right now, what Kevin Cash is doing is just making sure that Paredes is going to be able to finish the at bat. Kicked Isak Paredes out of this game. So Paredes, the slow stroll. If we can decipher anything here. Well, this is pitch one. That was a strike, and Paredes probably not happy about it. You can understand. He says that as far out as we're going. And Well, from there, I, I venture to guess that there were some other words. The conversation were... didn't stop. Mandy Gonzalez said, uh, 
I've heard all I'm going to listen to from you tonight. And that is in there. Wow. Strike three called, and Drury goes right in the face of Ramon De Jesus and gets thrown out of this game. That wasn't a strike. And I don't know. The Angels don't have many position players left now. That's not a strike. Now Matt Strom is barking at somebody that care of Ponce, maybe. Strom is upset about something. That's really good base running by both guys. Now here comes jump star again. Somebody's been ejected, I believe, from the Diamondback dugout. Vic Carapaz had just ejected someone. The only lefty available off the bench has been ejected. <laughs> Josh Rojas was ejected <laughs> from the dugout. Drew Smith just came out of the bullpen to start the seventh inning. He was stopped and inspected for stickiness. All four umpires looked at his hand, and Bill Miller, the crew chief, has just ejected Drew Smith from the game for having too much stickiness. Second time it's happened to the Mets this year. Happened to Max Scherzer earlier this season, and now it has befallen Drew Smith before he can throw a pitch in this game. High chop near the bag at second. Cutting in front, Anderson flips. Safe at second base is Vargas. Everybody's safe, and the Dodgers have tied the game. And again, Roxy, it's a sloppy defense by the White Sox. We talked about it all night. Tim Anderson has to get an out there. If he's not going to get an out and the run's going to score, get the throw to first and make it two out. Now the game is tied. The bases are loaded. you got to get the sure out here. you got a sure out at first. Instead, he forces it to second. On well, the hustle, too, Miguel Vargas to make this such a close play at second base. Got Pedro Grafol wanting to review this play. He's actually pointing toward the outfield. And there's something that clearly has frustrated the skipper of the White Sox. And Pedro Grafola has been thrown out of the game. And now coming out to try to play peacemaker is the bench coach. Charlie Montoyo, former skipper in Toronto, coming out. The step in between is the plate umpire, Pat Hoberg, who has thrown out. Pedro Grafol has walked away. And now the crew chief, Brian Onora, getting an earful for the White Sox skipper. to figure out what he's so angry about. What has Pedro Grafol so ticked off? So Grafol has been thrown out, and now Charlie Montoya, who is running the game, the bench coach for the White Sox, takes over for the rest of the night. And he's going to make a pitching change here. My goodness, this has been a wild break. Bruce Bochy just ejected, but he's not the first. In fact, he's not the second this inning. He's the third Ranger to be ejected in this break. Here's the first. Yeah, he's talking. You see Marcus there and say, listen, that is ball four and frustrated by the call there by Ramon De Jesus. And he gave him a little bit of a leash there at one point. And then you see Mike Maddox coming out to defend. <laughs> Mike didn't last very long. 1-1 one, one pitch. I think it got him. It did. Oh, no, to hit with that pitch. They appealed. Oh, they see he went. So it's a strike. Wow. Loriano is hot. Loriano is hot. Loriano, I'm not sure if Ramon's been kicked out or what. Here comes Katze out. I think Loriano has gotten kicked out. He was yelling at the third base umpire, Brendan Miller. Yeah, Loriano's been kicked out of this game. Well, Mark Katze was just probably trying to get out there in time to save Ramon Loriano, which clearly did not work. And now they're just trying to hash out what the issue was. In this plate appearance. And did he go? No. Wow. Bronco is headed back to the dugout. He thought it was definitely going to be strike three. And 
Bob Melvin is irate and he should be. That's a missed call from Jim Wolf. Yeah. He, yeah. And Jim's going to toss Bob Melvin. Bob is going to want the opportunity to talk to him in person. Oh, my goodness. That that's, a, that's really bad. Yes, it is. And yeah, you know, Donnie, like, like you said, he was going back to the dugout. He was leaving. He knew he struck yes. out. Yes. Get your money's worth there, Bob. That's that's. First of all, a he went. Secondly, he's going back to the dugout because he knew he went. Right. So he knew he went, so he's headed to the dugout. And then they check and let him know, oh no, actually it's ball four, you're on. Wow. Yeah, you didn't swing. Okay. So Bob Melvin ejected by Jim Wolf. After review, the call on the field is overturned to a violation. Oh, it's a violation by Jonah Heim. For being in the line of the slide by Elvis Andrews. So he was out at the plate, but the catcher being in the way creates a run. And here comes Bruce Bochy. Now, he's hot, and he gets out there as quickly as he can. And he just got rung. He got thrown out of the game. Well, I have no idea why why that was a violation. But we're really happy it was. And Remillar drives home another go ahead run late. Bochi can't believe it. Jonah Himes pleading his case. But but replays the one that made the call. You have to give the runner the lane to the plate and evidently. Jonah Heim did not. This will be talked about for a long while. Rocco Baldelli came out to try to keep Joey Gallo in the game eventually was tossed letting off some steam and then as Gallo took the field crossed the line he had something to say to David Rackley and Rackley threw him out anyway so both the manager and the struck out player have been ejected. It's a tough one here Rocco obviously frustrated wondering why you know it's anywhere near where Gallo was at but that's why Rocco went out there was to try and keep Gallo in the game he went out there to protect his player. Third of you we're going to call a violation on the blocking the run is score. Here comes oh, Melvin. Second and third. It's a replay. It's a replay. It is a replay. Yep, gone. Gonzalez, you're saying, listen, I'm simply relaying what they determined in New York. There's eight umpires. There's two crews in New York who are reviewing this call. And the fact that it took a while gives you an idea of some of the debate that was going on in New York. And this move by Melvin is uh, obviously some. It's predictable. It was predictable, and he, he, I think he's doing it to fire up his team. Well, look, I'd be hacked off too. I mean that is really yeah you're gonna go there yeah we're gonna go there huh here we go Davey gonna let's go, go. well whoever said it then we're not gonna do it whoever no 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 you're not gonna tell me whoever you know what take you take care of your job out then whoever said it okay then I'll take care of here and I'll take care of here 
This may not end well for Davey, but he's still hot about Abrams at bat and others. Okay, you're done. There he goes. There's the pitch to Abrams that ended the fourth inning. And that wasn't the first one today. And that wasn't a strike, but it was as oh, much of a strike right. as the one CJ took. Oh, man. I don't know how many times it, the guys have had to spray Davies' pants for dirt on him, right, afterwards? Time out. No more. Time is no called. More, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to yell all the dirt out the entire game. No more. Rocco Baldelli just got tossed. Lance Barrett told him no more, and he kept on. And now he'll get his money's worth. Willie? Get your hands behind the back. That's good. You know, some of the tricks in the olden days, the umpires would take a step on you, and all of a sudden you bumped into them. This is a good discussion, though. He, he's taught, he thinks that Joey Wentz has been committing a balk. I thought I heard him say balk. Yeah. So you could you could hear him. That's a balk. Yeah. I left the word out. Yeah. They've been probably talking to him about it for some time. Well, you heard him complain. You could hear him with our microphones right there on the field saying nobody's watching anything. That's his complaint. He's saying they're not paying close enough attention to him. Alfonso Marquez is the crew chief. He's the one getting the brunt of Baldelli's frustration now. We're going to try and take a look at it somewhere. So we're going to take a look right here. Not sure that I saw anything there. Stepped off like he was supposed to. Wake up on the inside rail to get Taylor looking, and he doesn't like it. Oh, played up by Lance Baird is already ejected. One twin, make it a second. Somebody got to get out there and get it. Gonna lose another coach. Yeah. Three twins ejected. Something he said when he turned away to hit night. He, he couldn't help himself. That was somebody from the bench, I believe. Got a pinch hitter. Again, he kind of yanks his body as he strikes out. Brooks Raley with the strikeout. I think his argument was on the first of him bunting and taking it back. I think that was the whole beef the whole time with the umpire, umpire, umpire. I think he just got dejected too. Mike Estabrook, the home plate umpire. Let's see it again as he strikes out. Barks back at him, and yeah, he's thrown out.
payoff again to Bush, and this time he strikes out a frustrated Stanek. Looks back and gets ejected by the second base umpire, Junior Valentine, after arguing that block, which brought the go-ahead run home. Valentine is having none of it. Joshua Miller comes out to grab Stanek. Manny Gonzalez, the crew chief, has to step in front of Stanek. And that's going to do it in what was a wild eighth inning in an already wild Saturday on Chavez Ravine. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. She's the home plate umpire. Kata is not happy with Bacchus. And one out here in the ninth. Somebody got thrown out. Yeah, Buck did. I don't, was it Buck? Yeah. He told Buck go back and dug out. Oh, okay. Buck said something and didn't end well for him. So just relax. I was coming to talk to get, get my player. Verlander was uh, yelling, so was Eric Kinski. And you wonder about, oh, Bay is just tossed. G1 Bay is thrown out. Yeah, that pitch was in, and Bay went, went wild on uh, Jeremy Rayak, uh, who immediately threw him out of the game. Whatever he said, uh, the home plate umpire didn't like it immediately. So, some kind of a magic word. He got tossed without mid, even argument. Mid at bat. In this inning, two runners without throwing a pitch. <laughs> The leadoff runner and then the intentional walk. They don't charge four balls on those anymore. And now we have a ball four. Yeah, no. Clock violation, or did they just decide to? Yeah, no. We just all paid to see Brandon Miller umpire tonight. Here we go. Oh boy. And he did it right. Let's be honest here. I just had to bring it up. So, again, it has to do. He's already warned him about. He's coming set and Julio Rodriguez is not has not looked up and that was warned two pitches prior again I don't want to say Brennan Miller is doing something right he's doing he's right he's doing his job but that is something that you're in control of Ty France is the hitter he's 0 for 1 career against Jordan Weens. And the Nats in big trouble. They need to get lucky and have somebody hit one right at somebody. Jim and now over. Jim Hickey's been ejected. Infield in. Outfield can't play real deep, and that's ball one. Yeah, I think he said basically we didn't come here to watch you uh, umpire. We didn't. How about this down the line from Dominic Smith? K. Barrett Ruiz heading for third. Smith into second. They're going to send K. Barrett all the way from first. And oh, he's safe. They're going to call him out. No way. For going out of the baseline? Are you? Are we there? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, this is awful. Davey's going to have to be careful with his demonstration here not to get tossed. But you're trying to elude the catcher on a throw that took the catcher uh. into foul ground. Look at it. look at me! I can throw you out. At least he combed his hair today. That's awful. Crew chief Mark Carlson coming in to help out. Not Davies in his face. 
Yeah. Because Carlson get, had a rough night here. Yeah, he's going to get two it out for the other go for the Jamer Candelario. Yeah. Can you get tossed by two umpires no, no, in the no, same game? Yeah, you can get your money's worth for both. I mean, Derek Thomas, let's figure this thing out, please. Got the Jimmy Chipwood hair from oh. Hoosiers. What do you think? I mean, that's a great throw by Hernandez. I, I don't know Wait, that what I've a, ever seen a guy called right. for going out of the baseline at home. Yeah, no, he's trying to. No, you're supposed to run into the catcher's mitt. That's what you're supposed to do, Bob. Hmm. Crashing from the corners, and he gets hit on the hand. That's going to load him up. He wants to challenge. Said it hit his back. Oh, he was bringing it back. You know, I think, I think, uh, I think it hit him in the hand. The call on the field is confirmed. He was hit by the pitch. San Diego has lost the challenge. Yeah. Bob Bob has been ejected. He Bob's frustrated in general. Yeah. I'd say so. Absolutely. This is uh, something that's been uh, tonight, especially uh, the way things were going, kind of go ahead and uh, Bob sticking up for his players. I think 80 games coming to a head. This yeah. is game 80 of the year. Yeah. The frustration has been boiling over. And Bauer is hit by the pitch. Now, did he swing? They say no swing. I don't think he's he hit by the pitch, and the bases are loaded. They check it out with the first base umpire. And Buck is incensed. He says absolutely he swung. That, that's a swing. That should be a strike. Meanwhile, Buck is out talking to Ron Culpa, and now they're going chin to chin. And he's going to get a run. And yep. now he has been thrown out, which I think was his intention. At any time that he goes the opposite way. Couldn't hold up. He wanted to check with the first base umpire, Ben May. And May said you went too far to away. And Dunning's been really effective throwing that sinking fastball inside. Speeding up the Tigers hitties hitters got him looking inside and then he's throwing that slider down in the way and you can see there It's a close close call And Miggy's not happy because he felt like he kept the bat barrel. He's gonna have to go back to his bench After Miguel Cabrera has been ejected for arguing with that check swing with Ben May the first base umpire There they go three two is strike three Two on, nobody out, but no runs for the Giants. We'll go to the bottom of the third. And J.D., I think he just got tossed out of the game. Well, this was the pitch that had J.D. Davis so hacked off. But I don't think it was only this, Javi. That was called strike three. He was sure it was a ball. John Tumpain, after J.D. just kept jawing at him, and Tumpain pretty quick tossed him out of the game. Two, ti two times J.D. was furious about that. And it wasn't over there. Gabe Kapler came out, and he was... Unhappy with the quick ejection, and then he gets tossed. <laughs> Kapler and JD out of the game, so that makes Kai Correa the manager. Okay, well, looks like Jose Castro, the hitting coach, was ejected, Dallas. Yeah, interesting. There was some jaw and there was some back and forth. You see Castro, he had some things to get off his chest. Trip Gibson said, well, why don't you use some water? Hit the showers. Get it all off the chest. Here is Luis Robert. Yeah, Castro was hot. 